thing fighting for order in the chaos. The men and women of the Hall of Justice. Hey everybody, this is Wendell and... I'm Niles. Of the Dystopic Boys. And I guess I don't actually need to be this close to the microphone. But. So uh, we are here standing in line. Yeah, that's right. There's a line for uh, Dread 3D. Dread 3D, of course, we're here in 3D. Uh, yeah, watching this movie uh, in 3D. Obviously, because we wouldn't be in 2D. <laughs> but yeah, we decided we were going to uh, watch this. Uh, that way we can uh, have something to compare to the Judge Dredd that we watched for the first uh, podcast. Now, granted, this movie is not a remake, but a, another chapter of the Dredd series. And we fully expect it to be equally as terrible and awesome as the first one. Except for there's no, You betrayed the law! Or if there is, it won't be said by Sylvester Stallone, which means it will be much, much worse. I have that soundbite, by the way, and we're going to use that later. All right, uh, we'll see you guys when uh, so, we get well, no, out. No, no, hang on. No. Oh, wait, so okay. so uh, my expectations of this movie are going to be that uh, it will be good in a terrible way without <laughs> the awesome that it, awesomeness that is Sylvester Stallone. <laughs> no, um, how about you? I expect something visually amazing. And story-wise, you know, I don't expect anything besides... Well, there's supposed to be a story in a Judge Dredd movie? What? <laughs> well, this one might have a little bit more of a story. I don't know, expectations. I'm, you I'm know. not holding my breath. <laughs> I'm not ex- I mean, you know, the story as far as, you know, the simplest form of, of story, you know. I don't know what I'm talking about. We're just going to go watch this movie. We'll see you guys All right, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll uh, give our impressions after the movie's over. <laughs> so, uh, uh, see you on the other side. Peace. The sentence is death. Okay, one on our back. Uh, we just watched Dread 3D, actually in 3D. Actually in 3D. And Wendell, what were your thoughts? Different. Uh, no, I thought it was actually pretty good. Is it what you were expecting? It was not what I was expecting, but I think it... For me, if this had been a movie by itself without a previous one, it actually would have been better. The reason being, as we'll get into in the podcast next week a little bit. Well, it's not a remake, remember? Well, no, it's not a remake. But I came into this expecting something at least along the same lines as far as kind of the much more, I guess, epic storyline. Like something something that's not just about one block, you know. Oh, more about the... Judge about Dredd, the world. exactly. Judge Dredd went beyond just that one block war that it kind of started out as, and turned into something that was more of a overall the problems with the judges and the problems with the uh, leadership and government in that society. Whereas this definitely leaned more towards just the that that the, one block and yeah, that the one problem. Solitary problem. Uh, actually, the funny thing is, if you see a movie called The Raid. It's like the same story. They took Judge Dredd and put him in the raid. Because what the raid is, is a SWAT team goes into a building, marches up all the floors, and goes and hits the bad guy at the very top. Is that one on our list? It's not on our list because uh, it's not because it's not supposed to. It's not, a, it's not like a dystopian. It's okay. not a dystopian. So it, it's kind of funny. Judge Dredd in the raid. There you have it. So yeah, I mean, I I love the I love the visuals. It was yeah, actually really yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah, the the visuals and the premise and like the overall storyline and everything. I actually thought were pretty good, and and even the the actors and and characters that they got to portray everybody, I thought were really well done. Um, and they got and, betrayed the law in there. Yeah, they got the betrayed the law. Um, but again, I think it was just in comparison to you know what I was what I was used to from Judge Dredd. It was a little more. Um, toned down I suppose as far not not as far as violence or anything definitely no yeah I, I agree with you it's like I feel like yeah it should have been more of an epic like judge dread it, it should have been more of a good versus evil and kind of the a tale of society like judge dread was this one definitely was just more about a good guy a bad guy and who wins yeah and we'll talk more about why he had his helmet on for the whole movie which yes. I actually kind of preferred but we'll talk about that later yeah, when we get into the actual first real episode of the podcast, which uh, should be hitting sometime next week. You uh, betrayed the law! And uh, I suppose we could go ahead and say the uh, the three movies that we watched on that one. It's going to be, uh, let's see, what was the first one we watched? Oh, it was uh, Postman, and then Judge Dredd, 
Judge Dredd, the original, and then The Time then of the Wolf. Time of the Wolf. Uh, not many of you may have heard of that one. but Wendell uh, Rant coming to you soon. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> All right, we'll see you guys later if you're still listening. Um, I don't know, hold on to your pants. <laughs> we'll see you on the other side. You betrayed the law!